I think I think what's happening in society is women are now dictating to men how men should be. Should be, yes. Right? But but the feminist movement is all about men shouldn't dictate how women should be and we should do this and we should do that and we should take back. So I just think there's a bit of a double standard there. But do you know what's happening now? I think men are saying now, because men understand this aggressive feminist movement, they're saying, do you know what? You'll see. They're mm. talking and they're like, you know what? Because you don't want to hear... It's all right because the t- time time will, will, sort, come. Time will tell. Yeah. And I, I think you know what I get. It comes down to it. Uh, even me as a lefty, is, and where I had to come away from leftism, it's almost like most rational men, as rational men, would be like, in fe- feminism in its core, that women have the right to and mm-hmm. they should have basic yeah. human rights, etc. The yeah. same as men. Yeah, yeah. They, should, they, should, they agree with that. But it's got to a point where radical feminists were pushing so much, so much. But suddenly we turned around and we're like. How the fuck did, did we, we get, get here? here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're like, yeah. and then it creates up. Now we're fighting back to go the other way. Yes. And the first thing that radical feminists will do if you go against their agenda is you're a misogynist. Yeah. yeah. But the whole thing about leftism. Well, is, is, yeah. It, it, the whole thing about leftism is to be inclusive of all. But the fact is that you don't respect someone's opinion that's against yours is yes. the most uninclusive thing around, yeah. around it. So it's, it's fascism, essentially. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like That's what fascists done. They said, oh, our way or the highway, and if you got something against us, and if you do something against us, then we're going to get you. Control yeah. thinking. I actually, have, mm. I, I actually have a clip around, around traditional marriage. On a, oh, we could. On a quick reel that I wanted to play to you guys, and we'll discuss it afterwards, after yeah. it's finished. Well, I had to learn this. I do not correct my husband. I believe that it is my responsibility to have the confidence to give him my perspective. Then we can talk about it and he can self-correct. I love him so much and I desire to honor and respect him. And I'm married to him, so I, I would assume that he wants me to feel the same exact way. To take my perspective into high consideration with his actions. But I married a grown man. I'm not going to be disrespectful and talk to him like a child. Oh, I Damn. Damn. Is he ready or are you still saying that? No, I'm still great. Are you still good? Yeah. So, what did we think of that clip? I sent that around to like four men that I respect and um, two agreed and was like, yes, like women shouldn't correct men and all of that stuff. Like two of them were like, <clears throat> if I'm confident within myself and I know that my partner has my back, Maybe it's the manner in which, because sometimes women don't know how to say things to <clears throat> say things to men. Mm. Sometimes we can be very condescending, mm. and we can we can throw things like back in guys' 100%. faces, right? Mm. So one of the guys was just like, as long as she's pointing out something that I'm doing wrong, but it's done in a loving way and it's done with respect, I'm open to it. And as long as it's the we can do it, it's a vice versa, it's reciprocal, then it's fine. But the other two who are a bit older, well, well they agreed with her. Mm. Question though, mm. and this might be slightly no, pro- pro- uh, do you think that's a problem with black women? Mm. Oh, I'm gonna say, yeah, interesting. Ooh. I'm gonna say, yeah, you sound like a pick me right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, like everybody who's ever heard me speak on this subject, I just feel like we. Oh God, we as women, yeah? <laughs> like, w- when I see how like non-black women relate to men or have conversations with men, I see that they're very calm, they're very, they listen, mm-hmm. they, um, they absorb, they ask questions. Whereas sometimes with us, we're just so, we've got so much things in us. We're so angry that we don't even let men finish speaking. We don't, we, yeah. Angry it, black woman, no, that's a stereotype. No, but, and it's not everybody, but for example, Clubhouse opened my eyes. Yes. Like, oh my oh, God. Yes, when, yes. I, when, I, <laughs> when people would have discussions, I noticed that men are really good at just keeping quiet and letting a woman finish. And when it's the man's time, turn to talk, they can't finish a sentence. They can't get a word out. Yeah. And it was so obvious. I was like, okay, we have an issue. Mm. But you, if you say that to black women, then obviously, like I said, you're a, you're a quote unquote pick really me. I don't because, you know, do you know what I mean? You're safe because you're a black woman. So you can actually say something. Mm. And yeah, but they'll still try and cancel her though. That's mm. quote unquote. It's not, it's not, not as bad as if you're a man. No, 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 I'll ask them actually like send our clips to Shane Barra. And try and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, look at this guy. Exactly. He yeah. likes white, yeah, 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 yeah. snowflake lover, all yeah, these yeah, things. These women are not in or you can't relationships or you happy can't relationships. Me. Do you understand? Yeah, 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 and yeah. You hear? Uh, do you know what I mean? And the women who are actually in long-term relationships or have had that, 
these are women who listen. These are women who are more, I would say, act in their feminine. Mm. So I think there's or something more agreeable. That, or more agreeable, which we seem to want to go against. Mm. What do you think, Abiola? I, I would agree. But then I think it's very subjective to the person again. Yeah. Based okay, on different on. Op- opinions, if that makes sense. So you don't think black women are angry nowadays? No, I know they are. <laughs> well, you know they are. <laughs> yeah, I know they are. But you think it's, it's based on the individual? Yeah. But the thing, the thing is, I'm empathetic with you guys because it was only till this year now I had to shake off because the, the this education system is 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 leftist. Mm. It teaches like us as black men, you're a victim, you're oppressed, you can never do anything. That mm. if you ever go to a job, you're never gonna get it. Yeah. Any situation you have is never your slavery fault. Your I mean, slavery is your yeah, legacy. Slavery is your legacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. So, and so to sh- it took me till now to have to shake that off. So when a lot of women who have been taught as a woman, same similar things, you're oppressed, you're you're second class citizen. To then actually have the self retrospect, like actually. Is that entirely true? Mm. Now, obviously, I often use race and race and gender is different. But when I started actually saying like, no, I'm I'm not oppressed. Like, there's a factors that go against me ethnocentrically yeah. and culturally as they would anywhere else. But me as a black person, I can still make it and I can yeah. still do. Great but you things. see what I find, mm. sir, to kind of switch. You see what yeah. I find with black people who realize that they've drank the left Kool Aid mm. yeah, <laughs> for too long and then kind of go conservative. Mm. There is a see. I've always said. When black people realize that they've drunk the left Kool-Aid, the the solution is not to just go conservative, full conservative, right? Yeah, like I still believe in a welfare state. I still believe in all those things, but I don't believe that. Because to... essentially you're still black. Mm. So there's still things that affect you. Yeah, you, that don't, you know, that don't affect everyone yeah. else. And I think a lot of the time, what happens with, specifically, because I'm, I'm, I was having this conversation the other day that when you look into conservative black people, especially in America, you find that they don't have black, uh, black partners. Mm-hmm. Generally, mm-hmm. yeah, do you know what I mean? And even over here, like the black conservatives over here don't have black partners. Yeah, Candace Owens is a big one, obviously. She's Candace a Owens, yeah. like you, you've got a lot of them. Like, if you if you look at the, the actual conservative black people, so it's like you're still black though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So, it, just because you become conservative, it doesn't now negate your blackness. And yeah. I feel like a lot of the time when black people realize that they they can't do the left thing, they go full oh, conservative and they're like, yeah. and they act as if I had a black conservative woman, sorry to go on a rant, but I had mm. a black conservative woman in America tell me that black conservatives don't see each other. And it's very interesting. It's like, so, so they go to like conservative conventions, Trump rallies or whatever. Oh. But when they're there with each other, they act like they don't see each other. Mm. They just yeah, go the, towards the white audience and just mingle with the white people. It's like, but you guys are still black, though. That's you know? I'll be there like, yo. My yeah, I'm like, like, yo, what's going on? Yeah. That's yeah. Journey, but, she was, but the thing is, you can see that in when you look at their partners. Because a lot of... The, and I'm saying, you can love who you want to love, you know? But I'm just saying there's definitely, like, a trend that I feel like people aren't... They're not clocking. It's yeah. like, when you're a black conservative, you, you automatically got, like, a white partner. But you, you know, mm. I think 